I am with my buddy Kathleen right here, and you are the big shot right here at Goose Point Oysters, second generation in this farm, right? You got it, Andy. Okay, now I thought people just went out and found oysters in the wild and brought them in. You actually farm them, is that right? We do. Will you take me out and let me uh, help and at least see the process? Yeah, absolutely. We'd love to teach you about farming in Wolfa Bay. This is the state river that we operate off of, but we own about 99.9% .9 of all of our tidelands. At high tide, this is about eight feet deep on average. And then at low tide, it's all exposed tide flats. Okay, so, so at high tide, this is that much deeper? It's about eight feet eight deeper. Eight feet deeper mm -hmm. than it is now. Mm -hmm. Oysters are a three-year crop cycle. Our oysters are grown traditionally in the mud. You don't have to feed, you don't have to water, you don't have to fertilize, you don't have to uh, any of that. You just have to bring them in. This is genius. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is pretty cool. Don't tell all the crop farmers about <laughs> right, this. No, right. Okay, ready to get dirty? Yes. All right. There you go. Ready Time to, to do the laundry. So you're going to help us pick. You don't want to stand in one place for too long. Okay. You will sink. I almost feel like I'm being taken on a snipe hunting trip. <laughs> <laughs> they don't come they do already cracked like open on a bed of ice. <laughs> <laughs> no. What you're going to do is you're going to put your bushel basket down like this. Uh -huh. And what you're going to do is you're just going to fill it. Pick up all the oysters and fill your basket. Then you pick it up and then you dump it in. There it is. And then we're done. Then we eat. <laughs> the tide will only let us be here for a couple hours. Well, that's a nice thing about the tide. So you, you're picking everything. Everything. Yeah, like he's he's teasing me because you left a few behind. We have to go back and pick them oh, up. He's teasing you yeah. because of my work. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of like mowing the lawn. You have to get all of it. There you go. That's a good one. I'm better at pithy sayings than I am actual work. <laughs> Is this getting full now? Almost. When it's like heaping. Heaping, all right. I feel like this is pretty heaping. There's only like 10 more over there. <laughs> All right. There you go. I feel like this is heaping. Yes. And then at high tide, a boat comes over, floats over, and picks up each one of these baskets, puts it on the bow of the boat to go in for processing. So we have some steaks to do. You want to walk with me and yeah. do some steaks? He's marking out the edges of our oyster bed. So when we come back at high tide, our boats know exactly where to go at high tide. And then you just push it down in the mud. So see how it got stuck? Uh-huh. You gotta shake it until you get it down to the depth you want it. Right here. Right here? Yeah. There you go. There you go. These are our oyster seeds in March. Okay. We will take these and then we will scatter them out on an oyster bed. You start with a tiny little seed, you throw them out here, spread them out here, and then in three years you get this? Yes. So that little seed sits on what we call a mother shell, and it grows off of that mother shell, and in three years it looks like this. So from here, it gets uh, harvested, taken back, and you process it. Correct. And then it goes all over the country. Correct. We recycle all of our oyster shells. So this will go back into a nursery setting. We'll set more seeds on top of this shell, and then we'll replant it out again. And are they also improving the water quality? Is there like a filtration thing? Oh, 100%. I mean, the amount of gallons that oysters filter, they're cleaning all of the water that they're going so through. So they're very important for the whole system. Oh, they're super important to the ecosystem. Yeah. yeah, I mean, that's why our ecosystem is so pristine. You wanna shoot it? Sure. I'm a boy from Kansas. You're lucky to get me to do this much. <laughs> <laughs> so it can't get any fresher than this. No. Man. Ugh. Oh. That was delicious. That was like having soft butter. I'm feeling viral! <laughs> <laughs> After the oysters are harvested, we fill up this entire hopper with oysters, and then our guys shuck them. And then after they're clean, then we sort them. And then they get hand packed into their containers, and then it gets sealed and shipped. We only have like a 17 day shelf life, so everything happens in 24 hours. That's the bread and butter of what we do, shucked meat okay. on that side. 
So now we've transitioned into our magic curtain of the half shell market. And then this goes to like restaurants and things like that? Yep, restaurants, and they just Fred in. Meyers, QFCs. Really? And there it is. And there it is. There it is. <laughs> <laughs>